All right, we're talking with Damon of Sparrow, and he's going to show me this little guy here. Look at that. Sparrow. All right, and you can control this through the iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch. Okay, so, so the first thing we do with Sparrow is aim it. Um, and that basically tells what's forward and what's back. So okay. now I can go forward and now I can come back. And of course change any color. Oh, you can? Oh, so as you're turning that around. Oh, great, so, let me. Of course change any color here. Oh, perfect. And we can even have it do things like change colors on, a, on its own or maybe fade between different colors. So as you're driving around, you can have it do a variety of little tricks like that. Very neat, very neat. And so if we drive around here, you can see it's kind of a dynamic control system. So if we drive at high speeds, it'll make these big sweeping turns. Mm -hmm. And as we sort of slow down, we can take really, really precise 90 degree corners, should we want to. Oh. Um, so the precision is, is very, very high with this product. We're able to do things like mazes and do things like navigate tricky areas. and. Um, that's really a cool thing that a ball has a great advantage about being able to say double back right on itself and go right back from where it came from. So what kind of range does that have? So this uses Bluetooth um, with a uh, about a 50 plus foot range is what we say. Okay. If you look over here you can oh, kind of see. it's going. I'm going to zoom in. I will take this and I will keep going. He's going, going, and, going. And I'll bring it back eventually because I won't be able to see it anymore. But, so it has to be in the line of sight. Um, only because that's what makes sense for driving it. So Bluetooth oh. <laughs> isn't line of sight, um, but depending on what environment you're in, you can get you know well over 50 feet. Okay, great. So beyond driving it, the whole idea of Sphero is that the apps um, really dictate the experience. So if we want to change what Sphero is, mm -hmm. we just have to launch another app. Um, so here's an app that basically will use Sphero. This is a very simple, simple app. But it will show you how you can use Sphero now as a controller. So it locks that mechanism in place. Mm -hmm. And now if I hit test here, you'll see that I can use the Sphero to control the fish on the screen. Now on this, I'm just using a couple axes of rotation, but there's games that use gestures where you can physically shake Sphero. There's games that use all three dimensions of rotation. Okay. Um, and in fact, we have a game that, that is like a, a space uh, shooter game where you can actually rotate 360 degrees, go up, down, left, right, yeah. shake to have special powers, things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, that's another great thing that Sphero does. Beyond being a controller, Sphero has some really neat things um, in the sense of programmability. Um, it is a robot, so we're able to sort of tell it very interesting things. Here's an app we did a long time ago, but it's a very cool demonstration of how I can draw a path. Oh. And Sphero will then follow that path. Drive that out. So I can, for example, tell him to come down here, change colors as he goes. Oh. He'll drive that arc and he'll change colors as he goes. So that's a very neat thing. That's great. How Absolutely. many apps do you have? There's uh, over 20 apps right now between okay. iOS and Android. Okay. Um, not every app is on every platform, yep. but we have basically you know, a lot of apps for both platforms. Um, and more are coming. It's an open platform. Anybody can make apps. Oh. Um, anybody can, can develop for it. So you have third-party developers that Right, make so, things that work with your device. Exactly. So we're uh, we have people out there. We have an open API. We have an SDK that's available that we publish. Okay. That has uh, you know really great um, sample code and a lot of information in a developer forum. And we're just trying to get lots of people activated as developers. Great. Um, so the apps will keep coming. So so this product's already available now, and new apps keep coming out all the time. Correct. And what is the cost of? You know, a starter kit. So the product, uh, the, the basically Sphero sells for one twenty nine, one hundred twenty nine dollars, okay. mm -hmm. and that all of the apps um, except for a few are free at the moment. So you can really download them and get going. With Sphero, you get the induction charger. Sphero is induction charged. Okay. Um, so the idea is that you just place them in a cradle, power cradle, yeah. and he'll automatically reorient to the best place for charging, oh. and then he'll charge right up, pick them up, and how long will shake them to wake. And it'll drive around for about an hour. Okay, and then how long does it take to charge it to get about an hour? It takes about maybe three hours to get a full charge. Okay. But, I mean, generally speaking, you put him down his charger when he's done playing, you'll always have enough battery power to, great, to play. Great. And the last thing I want to show you is augmented reality, which is something that we've done that's, that's really brand new. So because the ball is constantly talking to the device, mm -hmm. and your device is always talking to the ball, we can do something brand new, which is which is um, connect those in a way that uses you know all the cool hardware that new um, 
phones and pet tablets have. So this is called Sharky the Beaver, and he's an augmented reality character. Mm. And I change his speed here. What oh, you and see, there's uh, I see the uh, the floorboards there. Exactly. In the so what we're looking at here is where we are at that toy show. And now I have instead of seeing um, the floor, I mean, he just disappeared under the couch. Let me get him out here. So instead of seeing the ground, we see this animated character. And if he's walking, he'll walk, he'll strut along here. If we're going at a slow speed, if we're going at a fast speed, he'll jog. And he can run into things like walls and, and collide huh. and actually animate to, uh, to show a collision. Let me try that one more time. That's great. We can do a little better than that. And then we can interact with this in different ways. So we can, uh, so he bumps into that. And then we can, we can actually flip this over and we can play a little game. This demonstrates um, some of the ways that this can be gamified. So this is a very simple thing that just wants me to throw cupcakes towards him. Um, so as I flick these, you see they can bounce off the ground. The goal here is for me to hit him. And he'll walk around and I follow him around and I try to chase him and throw these cupcakes. But you can see they're bouncing off of the ground, even, yes. even further along. We know where the ground is, we know where the cupcakes are. We come right back, there's Sharky. So we've really created an entire game world around this character that's, um, that's really made possible by all the complicated robotics inside of the ball. Great. Well, Damon, this is pretty impressive. Thank you very much Thank for sharing. Thank you very much, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Appreciate, Appreciate your time. It. Thank you. Bye-bye.